The CDC warning not to loosen pandemic restrictions, but Governor Tom Wolf did so anyway. No more out of state travel restrictions and indoor events are now allowed to be up to 15% of maximum capacity for outdoor events. It's 20%. That means Pirates fans will be able to go to games at PNC Park when the season starts next month. States also relaxing rules that will affect the Penguins and their fans. Nicole Ford is live at PPG Paints Arena. So Nicole, what's the word on when the Pens will begin allowing fans? Well, Ken, it's actually a moment hockey fans have waited for since the beginning of this season. There are plans in place to allow 2,800 hockey fans inside PPG Paints Arena. And while those restrictions lifted today, those changes are happening tomorrow. The streets surrounding PPG Paints Arena are quiet. This business has been in my family for more than I've been alive, so thinking that it could end with me is kind of, was kind of hard to think about. Garley Moore's family owns Super Bowl, a staple for hockey fans. But up to this point, it's a struggle with no fans in those stands. It's been hard. I mean, there's been a lot of tears, a lot of not knowing. She's calling Monday's announcement from the state a glimmer of hope. Indoor gathering limits rising to 15% means 2,800 fans can now head uptown for Penn's games starting Tuesday. It really means that we can keep the place open. You know, we were starting to get to the point where it was kind of looking pretty bleak, like it didn't look like there was an end. Penn CEO David Morehouse says the organization has planned for this return for nearly a year. Mobile ticketing, mobile parking, uh, uh, concession stands that are grab and go, touchless, restrooms that are touchless. Uh, we have a drone that actually cleans the arena after the games. But with all the changes comes a cost. I can tell you this, uh, 2,800 fans is not going to alleviate uh, the, the great cost that uh, uh, our ownership has uh, had to go through for the last year and, and, and also the employees that have taken pay cuts the workers that have been furloughed, all of the businesses that depend on the Penguins. So he's hoping to see even more fans inside the arena soon. Now, when you think about it, 2800 is a lot of people. So the Pens have plans in place to stagger arrival times for those fans at different gates in order to avoid any crowds or backups. Now, sports, not the only business impacted by these changes. How about weddings? All new at six, we sit down with a wedding planner to see what the future looks like for these COVID brides and grooms. For now, reporting live in Uptown, Nicole Ford, KDKA News.